What is this big ass citrus? <laughs> This is called a citron or a cedro in Italian, and I thought it'd be another interesting fruit to do for this discovery part of the channel. Because hey, it's not something you can find easily, and that's the point of it. It looks like a lemon, it's way bigger than a lemon, and it tastes different to a lemon. And the insides of it looks like this. There's not that much of the pulp here, it's mostly pith. The rind is actually quite thin, considering how big this thing is. And I wanted to let all the lovers of interesting things in citrus fruit know about the cedro. Interestingly, there are three different varieties of original citrus fruit, and that's the citron, the pomelo, and the mandarin. And from that, we get the hybrids of all the other varieties. All the things like clementines, oranges, atsumas, lemons, lime, to the less common ones like bergamot, kaffir lemons, yuja, yuzu, kumquats, all that stuff apparently comes from these three things. The citron was native to India and it went to Persia and apparently got brought in by Alexander the Great into Europe through Greece and Italy. And it gets used a lot to make candied fruit in Italy. And in fact, a special type of pamphorte needs to have at least 25% of the candied citron in there. So not just any citrus fruit, but this particular one to be qualified. It also gets used to make a liquor similar to limoncello, but with citron instead of lemons. But also in Italy, apparently they eat it kind of like a grapefruit. I like just spoon it out and sometimes with a little bit of salt or sugar. Any tannins out there, let me know how you guys do it. So that's the quarter of it. About 70% of the volume is meant to be the pith. If you're looking for a citrus fruit to juice, probably not the most efficient one. But if you do like citrus fruit, I'd really recommend it, especially if you like things like pomelos or grapefruit. They're the ones that are a bit less sweet and a bit more tart and a bit more sour. I'm weird when it comes to citrus fruit. I'll eat the whole thing if it's unwaxed. And by the whole thing, I mean the zest as well, the pith, everything, the seeds too. And in fact, on some of the great oranges, the zest is just really flavorous, really sweet. So here it is dissected. You can see that the zest, there's an pretty thin and the pulp very small compared to the pith the taste of it the fruit itself is very similar to that of, of a lemon but i will say it's a little bit less sour a little bit less tart um and more sweeter a bit milder well perhaps i can draw a better similarity to a lemon that is less sour more mild less tart a bit more sweet mm. very refreshing Sweeter than the average, normal, common lemons. But that might also just be because this isn't a common fruit. So the places that do sell them, they go for the higher quality produce, which are inherently better tasting. Because you can find lemons that are really sweet. They cost more, but you can get those. So maybe in that sense, it's just the fact that they are a more of a looked for good. The pith I found to be actually sweeter than the pulp. It's very spongy, very chewy. I like it, um, but then I, I like pith of most citrus fruit, I know a lot of people don't. And I thought it was sweeter than the pulp itself. Mm. Very chewy, very spongy, has an initially sweeter taste and it ends with a little bit of that kind of kicky peppery taste of, of citrus fruit. <laughs> As you can see I'm really liking this. The zest is a lot more bitter than the pith. Probably similar in terms of bitterness to the, to the zest of a lemon. And I think you could use the citrus with, um, in a similar ways to a lemon, except for the pith and the, the fruit. Well, I think you could always use the fruit. You just munch away like how you do it. Or like they do in Italy, you can make this into candied, candied peel and add it into baking. I'm sure it'd be very nice on a salad as well if you shred it up. Cut it nice and thin. But in London, I found this in three different places. One of it was La Fromagerie in Marlebone. The other is a turnips, fruit and veg shop in Borough Market. And the third, although not all the time, I've only seen there for a short period of the year, maybe seasonal or something, was a Nantura shop in Sloan Square. If any of you know other places where you can get it, please let me know because one, I want to get the citrons. And two, if a shop's going to have these, it's also going to have other interesting fruit as well. And just other interesting stuff. So I definitely want to check it out. So leave a comment if there's other places where you can get it. And I really am just mentioning away at this. Thank you. I hope you found that interesting. For anyone who really likes citrus fruit, who likes pomelos, grapefruit, lemons, lime, definitely recommend it. And for anyone who just wants to try something new, it's very interesting. And you know, unless you try it, how do you know whether you like it or not? If you try it and then you hate it, that's fine. You know that you hate it for the rest of your life, so try it once. If you try it and you like it, well then you know for the rest of your life that you like it. Because there was a time when none of us had ever had an orange before, right? Until we tried that orange, we don't know whether we like it or not. We can ask our friends, but... I hope you found that interesting. Comment if there's something that you think is a very interesting thing. 
hit the bell to stay tuned to the other discovery of foods that I'm doing, the new stuff up to the stores, the food cost analysis, the reviews of products. Thank you very much and have a tasty day.